could you just tell me a little bit about who you are uh, and what company you work for? Sure, I'm Bobby Reimer, um, uh, partner and uh, general manager of a company called Writers Den Music Group. We're a small little independent publishing company. We've got five writers uh, under contract. Uh, we've only been around for a little less than a handful of years and uh, we're fighting with the big boys, just uh, having fun with what we're doing. Awesome. Um, so let's just talk about some uh, basic questions that mm -hmm. any young writer who's looking to make a career out of this would ask. Uh, the first question, which is, you already know what's coming, is how does a songwriter get their first appointment with you? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, there is no one way. Uh, typically it's uh, through some kind of connection. Uh, either someone like Barbara Cloyd uh, who recommends this writer or a PRO, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, uh, NSAI, uh, other writers, uh, a music business attorney. Uh, take your pick. There's, uh, it's a small little world. We all sort of kind of know each other and once somebody hears something that they're excited about, they usually start spreading the news and uh, hopefully it gets to us when we have a chance to have a uh, conversation and meeting with them. Okay, cool. Um, once you've had that first meeting with uh, a writer, what makes you take that second meeting with them or what would make you not want to take another meeting with them? <laughs> That's another good question. A uh, few things I'm looking for. Be on time. That is that is, if you have an 8 o'clock meeting, uh, do not get there at 8 o'clock. Get there a, a quarter till. That tells me, uh, tells me a lot about that person's character right there. The other thing, if someone grants you 15, 20, 30 minutes, do not take up the whole time. Mm -hmm. Take less. If someone says bring me uh, uh, three to five songs, uh, do not go over that. Uh, those kind of things right there just tell me a little bit about that person's uh, sincerity and uh, integrity and, and and if they're paying attention uh, and then above that it's it, it really does come down to the songwriting um, uh, I can't speak for everyone but I've been in this business for a while and and we know we don't have to listen to the to the fade out of the song if there's something there that interests us um, uh, you know if Within three songs, I get a pretty good idea of where that person is coming from, and uh, and that'll tell me if I want to meet with them again and, and explore further. How important is it for a writer to be able to you know how to make tracks, or you know how often are you looking for a track guy? You know, it, is it more helpful? Yeah, that is a fairly new question uh, within the last few years, and it does play a part. Um, I think that any time. Uh, you can put uh, more things on the table uh, to offer, the better. Um, you know, go back to the old days, if you just did lyrics, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but if you did lyrics and music, you're probably more appealing. If you do lyrics, music, and can build tracks, and sing, and play instruments, I mean, all that adds up, and it makes you more... Uh, it potentially makes you more attractive to certain people. Um, uh, all that being said, for me personally, if you cannot write what I consider a wonderful song all by yourself, um, that that's where you start. But if you can do that and then add any other elements, like we were talking about, I think that's a huge plus. All the changes that have been happening in the music business, um, you know, you said you've been around for a while. How? <laughs> How's that affected uh, music publishing? Um, well, I think it's made it uh, tougher, uh, but this business has always been tough. Um, there's, uh, there's less opportunities for cuts out there. Um, a lot of the artists are songwriters now, and uh, back in the old days on a 13-song album, there might be room for 10, 11 outside cuts. Uh, nowadays, that's practically reversed. Uh, with with artists writing, uh, there's probably only room for two or three, maybe four outside cuts. So there's there's less opportunities. That and uh, uh, mechanical sales have just plummeted. Uh, so you've got less opportunity to get cuts, and then when you do get those cuts, you're selling less units. So we're all really shooting for those singles. Um, 
you live and die by your, your singles. Album cuts are wonderful. You can't make a living on those like you used to, uh, but we take any cut we can get. But we're, we're looking for those, those uh, radio-driven singles. So for all you writers out there, that should be in the forefront of your mind. When you're constructing a song for a marketplace, uh, think singles. And uh, by and large, most of those singles are going to be mid-up-tempo. Uh, so focus on, on your writing, focus on that. Um, the ballads, save that for after you've had success uh, with your, with your mid-up-tempos. How likely are you to sign an artist-writer well, I'll be honest, what I'm looking for is a writer. If they happen to be an artist, that's a plus. You know, everything in this business is built off a song. You, that's where everything starts, and for me, that's where everything ends. And uh, that's what you focus on. And if you happen to have artist possibilities, that's just a bonus, in my opinion.